Hi, and welcome back to the Biomechanics of the Musculoskeletal System course. I'm Dan Bassett, and throughout the second part of this course, we're going to be focusing on teaching you theoretical principles of biomechanics and showing you how to apply them using Visual 3D. Our focus is entirely meant to make you more efficient and more comfortable in your biomechanics lab. As you can see, we're starting with an introduction to motion capture, but that doesn't mean it's only meant for those who have never used motion capture. We're going to try to explain principles behind the technology so that you can understand the results and be able to process the data and get what you want out of it in the best way possible for two reasons. First of all, a lot of times we don't realize how powerful technology actually is, so we don't see how wide the applicability might be. The other reason is there are some limitations to the technology and we need to understand them before we try to get data out that isn't appropriate. Just because we can theoretically measure something, so there's an ability to measure, for example, the varus valgus angle of the knee joint, that doesn't mean that that data is reliable data. So we're going to discuss a lot of those principles throughout this course. But in this specific lecture, we're going to focus on the very groundwork from which the biomechanics field comes from uh, specifically relating to motion capture. I often show this image that my oldest daughter drew years ago, and I, I like it because it captures the principles of biomechanics that we're all trying to work towards. But she understood it in a very elementary way that is probably the best I've seen. You see, she starts out with uh, the skeleton. That's, that's what we're trying to measure in the motion that we're capturing using our motion capture system. So we are essentially estimating the position of individual segments. We like to tell ourselves that we're capturing the position of bones, but it's not quite that. The segments is more accurate. And added on to that then, there's the muscles. The whole uh, muscular system is extremely important uh, to understand and it gives us a much bigger and better understanding of our patients and our subjects. And then that last image, uh, that's my daughter and uh, she saw that we were measuring all this to understand her motion and what was happening while she was moving. So, although it's very simple, that's, that's the principle behind even the name of this course, Biomechanics of the Musculoskeletal System, as we are analyzing the motion of the musculoskeletal system, and when we use muscle-specific uh, information like EMG, we're getting a fairly good picture of what's happening. So that's the background that leads us into the next chapters of this unit, where we're going to focus on the history of kinematics in biomechanics.